Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got just a short video. I'm playing around with a couple of my oscilloscopes and I'm going to be using the HScope app installed on my new launch scanner. I'm going to be taking a CAN bus, CAN high, CAN low waveform capture using the two scopes and I'm going to compare them and see how they do. Okay, so here's my setup. I've got the breakout box plugged in. I've got CAN high on pin six going to channel one. Can low, pin 14, it's going to channel 2. And then I've just got the shared ground. It's going to signal ground on the breakout box. There's the hand tech, two channels, running into the launch scanner. Let's uh, pull up the H-scope app and get a capture. I wanted to point something out real quick on my breakout box. There's the, the bob plugged into the DLC connector. And on this particular breakout box, they don't separate the chassis ground and signal ground. They are the same same ground source, so it doesn't matter which one you plug it into. Okay, so I got the HCO pulled up. Uh, I've got one mega sample per second. That's the highest uh, sampling rate on the Hantech 1008 using the HCO app. I got 20 microseconds per division. So you can see nothing's on right now. I'm going to have to wake up the the network. I'm going to flash the lights. And there it is. I'm going to pause it to get a capture. And there you go. As you can see, it mirrors each other. The can high, can low. But the, the detail isn't all that great because you need a little bit higher sampling rate to get a nice waveform capture on CAN bus. Uh, even though the hand tech doesn't give you the best capture for for CAN bus, uh, that doesn't mean that it's not usable for troubleshooting uh, network faults. Really, all you're looking for is you want to get a a known good signal. This is a typical known good, and basically what you're looking for is you want the CAN high and the CAN low to mirror one another. You can see here the CAN high is going up, CAN low is going down. And uh, as long as it's marrying each other, uh, you'll be able to spot any kind of fault, uh, whether it's a shorted uh, communication wire, if can high or can low is shorted to ground, or if they're sh shorted to each other. Or if you have a module that's bringing the network down, you'll be able to spot some weird uh, captures there. The signals will be kind of funny looking. You'll be able to spot when a module is acting up. You can troubleshoot it by taking it out of the network and restoring this normal uh, communication uh, capture. So still a uh, perfectly capable oscilloscope for most automotive work. Uh, this is probably going to be your fastest signal is the CAN or the network signal. So uh, if it can help you troubleshooting with this type of signal, it should be able to do most other waveform captures uh, with automotive oscilloscope work because most of the other signals are uh, slow signals. So this is probably going to be your fastest signal here. So if it can if it can work with this, it should be able to do most uh, automotive troubleshooting. And the good thing with this scope is it's it's inexpensive. I believe there's still about $100, $110 on Amazon. And you also have the benefit of having more than two channels. So that helps in, in having a tool that's a little bit more flexible. Okay, now we have the HS502. And you can see the network's asleep. We're going to flick the lights on and get it going. Turn this light off. Okay, I'm zoomed in a little bit more. Uh, as you can see, one mega samples per second. Let's get a pause here. You can see it's a little bit crisper. Uh, I'm zoomed in a little bit more than with the hand tech, but there you can see uh, it's a little bit better on the same setting. Let's uh, let's see if we can clean this up a little bit. Let me flick the lights on. Let's see if we can. Let's try two mega samples. Okay, a little bit better. As you can see, we can go for more. Uh, sampling rate with the HS502 than with the uh, with the hand tech. Let me flick this light on again. Uh, 
there you have it you can see it's a lot crisper you can see more of the the square wave let me shrink this down a little bit now that's a really good capture there let me see if i can widen it up a little bit With the lights on. Now that's a really good capture there. The resolution on this HS502 is a lot better. The The only downside is it's it's only two channels. But you can get a lot done with two channels for, for automotive work. Let's see. Going any higher helps it. Let's go to seven. I guess samples a second. Let me flick the lights on. Sorry, I don't want to put the key in, so I just flick the lights on to get the network going. What is this? We got a little bit of... Nope. Kind of look like interference. Yeah, it, it gets a little bit better, but uh, I think five is good. Flick the lights on. Yeah, that's perfectly good capture there. Five mega samples a second. Uh, this kind of changes the uh, the time base. It'll, it'll change if I if I do this or pinch it up and down. Actually, actually, if you go up and down, it it changes the. I believe it changes the voltage scale. No, it stays the same. It just kind of zooms in. But if you go this way, it changes your time base. So it's pretty neat to. It's a lot better using the H-Scope app. It's a lot more, uh, it's easier to use than, say, if you had the HandTech, the, the PC-based software. This is really easy because it's touch screen. But, yeah, I'd call that a success with the HS502. Yeah, really good scope, and it gets a really nice capture. So both of these oscilloscopes are perfectly capable of troubleshooting network faults on the CAN bus. I'm glad I have both of these scopes. Uh, the hand tech is great for when I need added flexibility with the added channel capabilities. And the HS502 definitely gives improved image quality for when you really need to analyze the, the data in detail, such as the case when you're doing injector waveforms or ignition waveforms. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully I'll get out in the garage a little bit more and take some more captures and play around with the, these two scopes. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.